Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the MOGA XP Ultra by Power A. This is a third party controller licensed with Xbox. So that's a pretty interesting thing to have a third party controller with Xbox. But I got this two months ago. I've had it for a while. I wanted to really put the, f I mean, some work into this controller before I uploaded a video about it, really just get it going. Now, I will say one thing, if you look into this controller, you're gonna find is a pretty hefty price tag. It goes for about 130 retail. Um, you might find it on sale somewhere. But I know that's gonna be the first thing people talk about is the price tag because it's almost exactly the same price as a Xbox Elite Core Series 2 controller, but that doesn't come with extra paddles. This does have paddles on the back of it, and it comes with the little thing right here, the little phone holder, so I'm like, hey, I'm gonna justify it by that. Not only that, you can actually separate this thing into a smaller controller. The rumbles will be inside of here, and it'll have a little mini controller. This actually brings me back to my like teenage years when I was playing Kino Der Toten Call of Duty Black Ops on a little like Power A. They had like mini controllers back in the day. Power, you need to bring those back, because I freaking love those. I loved them so much. I don't know what it was, I felt like I had better like, you know, it was like a miniature controller for some reason. I loved them. I don't know if they labeled them as minis, but they were obviously minis. Anyways, that's what I kind of feel like this is like. Now I have gigantic hands. I'm 6'3" huge dude, but it kind of gets a little hand crampy after a little bit. I do prefer to have it linked up in the full like kit, like a regular controller, because this is perfect for me. The back buttons, they are good, but I feel like you can accidentally hit them. However, they're not in a bad placement, but some people might find that they accidentally touch them or hit them or stuff like that. Um, you can program them to anything on the controller. This also has a USB-C, which is pretty awesome. So not only that, this thing came with a cord that was like 13 feet long. It's huge, which I love. I'm not hating that at all. I love it when brands give me a charging cord or a cord to plug into the wall that is extremely long because six foot sometimes just doesn't do it. I feel like it's just not enough. So this is, it's threaded, it's an amazing cord. I honestly use it for other things as well. So if you're across the living room, it's gonna work for you. Not only that, you can you know sync this up to your Xbox, which is pretty awesome. Um, however, I will say right off the bat, if you are wondering, this does not work with iPhones. This works with PC, Android, and Xbox, obviously Xbox. But it's also, like I said, Bluetooth, so you can hook it up to other things. However, like I said, it just does not work for iPhones. And I had it and I thought, you know, maybe there's some work around, maybe I can do it, maybe I can work it around somehow. It will connect to your iPhone, but it's virtually unplayable on any app because it just doesn't, I don't know what it is. Uh, there's a whole thing into that, I won't get into it. Sorry iPhone users, you just aren't, you will not be able to use this. However, and I am an iPhone user, which really sucks for me because I wanted to use this on my iPhone with a nice display screen. I, I don't have any Android phones, any Windows phone. I've been an iPhone user my whole life, and I'm telling you, I have never wanted to switch more now that I have this, I mean, so I actually went to a pawn shop and bought like a $5 phone for, you know, I don't know, whatever reason, this throwaway phone. I didn't even know if it could handle the games, but it could, I could not believe it. I bought it for $5, an old phone, it was from 2014. It's that old, but it's still touch screen and it connected to the Wi-Fi. I downloaded the Xbox Game Pass app and I was able to cloud game with this on there. And it, I could not believe I was able to. It did like, it was the internet was having trouble keeping up with that. That's what was the funny part about it. But I was able to do it. So if you want to do cloud gaming on your Android device, obviously don't use a $5 phone you got from a pawn shop like I did. I just had to see it. I had to test it out. And it did work, but the screen itself, the resolution is probably like four, 540 or something. It was really low. So if you have an Android phone, yes, it can plug up into that. Yes, it can plug up onto your PC. I've used it on my PC. I played Skyrim like hours and hours of just diving into the gameplay. It feels really good. It almost feels an equal weight to a regular Xbox controller. I don't know if you could say it's uh, it, almost an Elite controller. It kind of has almost the same weight as an Elite controller, but I feel like it's a little lighter. I could be wrong. It could just be like my mind messing with me, but I feel like it's a little, it's like in between a regular controller and an Elite controller. That's the weight of how it feels. It does feel pretty rugged, but also like the plastic, like right, the body, not the rumbles, but like the body, and some of the back buttons do feel a little cheap, like a little bit of a cheaper plastic. But other than that, I think it's great. It's held up over two months, rigorous playing. I'm talking hours and hours of throwing to the test. I even let my son play it on it, and I was really hesitant about that. He's six, and it handled him very well. I could not believe it. Well, let's talk about battery life, because this is a char rechargeable controller. How long does the battery last? Well, I fully charged this, and I'm telling you, I didn't have to charge it for like a week, and I'm talking long gaming sessions, eight hours a day. I didn't have to charge it 
it at all. The battery life on this thing is absolutely amazing. And one week I actually forgot to play it. I wasn't playing anything. I just, you know, wasn't playing video games. And I didn't charge it at all. And I turned it on and it still had wonderful battery life. It was still above half. And I was like, you know, sometimes when you leave stuff sitting for a while, you kind of like turn it on and it feels like it's weaker in battery, kind of die a little bit. No, that's not the case. This still kept on going. It was like a week, almost two weeks where I did not have to charge this thing. I was gaming hard, like eight hours a day. And I did not have to hook the charger up to this. And eventually I did, but the, the battery life on this is absolutely phenomenal. I am very blown away with the battery life on this. I love it. And that's why I feel like it is worth the money for that reason right there. You know, you don't have to buy batteries. It's rechargeable and that justifies the price tag as well but not only that the buttons are mappable on the fly so like mid game if you want to change the button bam right there you can do it to the d-pad bam right there you want to do it to the b button do a crouch bam right there you can just change it right then in there you don't have to go into an app and mess with stuff like that but that is a downfall say if i did go with like the xbox series elite which is very customizable in app and stuff like that it is different you obviously have much more leeway compared to this but again i don't know what it is i just really like this controller for some reason if you want to assign a button to the back panel of this mid game at any time super fast it's really easy there's a button on the back of it right here you just hold it down for three seconds this light's gonna blink start blinking once it starts blinking press any of the button you press b it's gonna start blinking fast press that bumper, bam, that easy. Incredibly fast, incredibly easy. You can do it mid game, anytime you want to. It's awesome, and that's what I really like about this is how quick it is. I don't have to go into the app. I don't have to mess around with it. But I know some people would like to go into incredibly um, custom controller layouts. You know, like even like how, you know, the sticks move, how strong they are. If you wanna do that, I don't think this controller for you, but if you don't mind it and you're just, you know, playing, but you want a little something more advanced than a regular controller, this is the controller for you. Anyways, that's all I have for today. I hope I was in help of some way. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comments. I will see you next time.